So looking first of all at Zhang Ning's path through to today's final. A little bit of a hiccup in the first round against Karachkova of Russia. Quarter-final victory over the number six seed, Jun Jae-yun. Very convincingly indeed. And then the semi-final once again against Hiroshi of Japan, losing the second game. So two games dropped on her way through to the final. Now, in comparison, Xie Xingfeng has had a very convincing pass semi-final against Mia Ordina surprisingly unseeded Mia Ordina although she was the Olympic silver medalist last year in Athens and you look at that scoreline no games dropped only 35 points dropped in total and the total length of all those matches added together less than two hours so that an indication of the sort of form of Xie Jingfeng and there she is, tall lady, 1 meter 78, that's about 5 foot 10, 24 years of age, born in Guangzhou, seeded three. And her opponent, Zhang Ning, 29 years of age, born in Liaoning, current world number one. Seeded one, obviously, in this All England Championships. The tenth meeting between these two women, the reigning world and Olympic champion, Zhang Ning, the 29 year old on the left, and Jia Jingfeng very much the player in form. Xie Xingfeng has won her last five tournaments back to back. Four at the end of 2004 and has already started 2005 in winning fashion. Winning last week the German Open. Chris Taylor, our umpire for this women's singles final. My right, Zhang Ning, China. China. Changing fan to serve. Level play. Oh. And a simple error from the One Olympic run. champion. The very first rally. Now, of course, Darren, both these players have been in an All England final before. Two. Zhang Ning, runner-up in 1998, when in fact she was unseeded, lost to the great Ye Zhao Ying. And Xie Jingfeng was in the final a couple of years ago when she was beaten by fellow teammate Zhu Mi. So as far as the experience of playing in all England finals, I mean, it's it's equal. Yes, you know, head to head, there's only one one apart. It's equal in finals. They're, they're, this is one of the titles that's eluded both of them. They'll, they'll both be desperate to get this one under their belts. So it, it, it's, um, it is quite tense out there. Push is wide. I have to say, though, the fact that Zhang Ning is current world number one, current Three. world champion, current Olympic champion. This is the only of the major events that she's never won. And therefore, perhaps her desire to win it even more than her opponent. Yes, maybe a little bit. This is, this is the only one. There's, there's a, you know, maybe she might be that little bit more pressure on her to get it. But um, it, it's, it's a tough, tough game. They're, they're so close. She are on form one last weekend you know she is, is currently topping it so it, it, very hard match to call 
Yes, in fact, Xie Jingfeng has won four of their last five encounters. So the momentum with the lower ranked player. Lovely angle. Yeah, nice change of direction. Both girls putting in nice attacking clears. All of a sudden goes around the head. One attacking clear. There's the cut, reverse slice drop. Lovely angle. Extraordinary start. We knew Nine. that Xie Xingfeng was in tremendous form, but really, Zhang Ning hasn't. Well, she's made too many unforced errors so far. Yeah, she's really not settled into this game. Whereas you look at Xie, she looks relaxed, smooth, moving well. Zhang at the Out. moment very tense. Seven, love. Fantastic angle once more from Xie Xingfeng. Yeah, so well. Tall girl jumped up though, but clipped it down so steeply. hoping it might bring a change of fortune. One, eight. Yeah, Shang will be pleased to get off the mark. It's the first error we've had from Sui. Fantastic. Really taking the game to her opponent, dictating the pace, pushing Zhang Ning first from one side of the court, then to the other, making her twist and turn. Pushed it wide. Eight, one. And I think the crowd here at the National Indoor Arena is stunned as we are, Darren. We thought this was going to be a great contest. Yes, I mean, there's a, a long, long way to go. We've seen games over the course of the week completely changed from one end to the other so there's still a long way but at the moment it's it's all one way traffic Nine, one. 
And certainly at the moment, Zhang Ning has been deceived by the deception overhead. The late on to the shuttle at the back of the court. Yeah, she is mixing the game up so well. She's been hitting some lovely cut drops, reverse slices. Again, very deceptive. Putting in the clears as well. So, Zhang under a lot of pressure at the moment. Had time off from training Zhang Ning after mm -hmm. her victory and gold medal in Athens. Time off to get married. So, perhaps not being at the training camp and training as hard as she did in preparation for the Olympic Games. Time the drop shot from Shear just hitting the top of the tape, falling back her side. Oh, that's better play from the world number one. Yeah, it was the first Two, rally she's really nine. put together. Great drop shot, but forced herself to get to that net early. But an error on the low serve. And the frustration, Nine, quite two. obvious. Very rarely does Zhang Ning show her emotions. And oh, that's brilliant. Great retrieving from Shang. Managed to get nine. out. Not only got a racket on it, superb cross court net from a very difficult position. really have been so impressed by Xie Xinfeng and her attacking play pulling Zhang Ning out of position first with the deceptive punch clear then the smash down the line Both girls working very, very hard. It's, that's just the sort of rally what Shang needs to get back into it. Taking their time. Little towel down. Recompose the thoughts.
Zhang Ning has been winning Grand Prix titles since 1994. Incredible career. Lift is long of that back line. Nine, three. Ten, game and the three. error on the return of serve gifts a game point. Just wide. Service over. Three, ten. Another error from Chang Ning. And things looking very bleak from her perspective. Facing another, a second game point. It's long at the back line. And this time, Xie Xingfeng converts and has taken the opening game against the reigning world and Olympic champion. The scoreline, 11-3 in favor of Shia. So the start of the second game, Xie Xingfeng nearest to us in the red kit, upsetting the more favoured player, Zhang Ning, the number one seed in the opening game, 11-3 in just 15 minutes. Pushed it wide. Service over. Love all. just apologizes for that luck the shuttle hitting the frame of Shear's racket total miss hit we're just going over hitting the net cord being deflected
great spinning net shot from Xie Chengfeng. One. Yeah, she read the point really well. Good attacking clear. Putting Chang deep in the backhand corner. Read the return. Took it so early. Service over. Darren, this Love is the one. eighth time in the last nine years that we have an all-Chinese women's singles final. Why is it that the Chinese players are so strong at this discipline? Yeah, they've they just got such a good, strong depth. For it. There's, there must be ten Chinese women, um, you know, and any one of them are capable of getting to a final. Um, so practicing with that standard day in day out it's just going to improve the level and they're taking it beyond everyone else at the moment they certainly are because I mean that is an interesting point in itself because Xi Jingfeng didn't qualify for the Olympic Games because she was the fourth ranked Chinese player and of course the International Olympic Committee's rules are that you're not allowed more than three competitors per nation in any discipline in any sport and therefore she didn't get to go to Athens and yet here she is after the Athens Olympics in the tournament she's played she hasn't been beaten yeah it, it you know it must be so frustrating for the players if if they have a few months off for injury or something to try and get themselves back in the rankings very difficult but you know that's what's bringing the whole standard up at the moment three love and you can see the frustration on Chang's face at the moment just not happening for her, just missing lines. Service over. Manages three. to change that in the very next rally. That time hitting the line. Over. She's Three, not really giving no. herself much margin for error, though, is she? No, not at all, as we saw there. She, she hit a shot, bang on the line. Again, went for the drop shot. You know, you're talking only inches out, but it's out. And so, you know, she needs to bring in her margin of error a little bit. And perhaps so start over. dictating the pace more, taking Love the game to three. her opponent, because it, it seems to me as if Xie Xingfeng is doing all the running. She's the one that's pushing her opponent around the court. Yes, exactly. I, I thought she would start this game up the pace a little more, try and force it a little bit more, but again, it's her under pressure. Oh, look at that. Just brilliant. She so stepping over. forward at the right three. moment. She'd done oh. the damage first deep into the backhand corner, then deep into the forehand, knew the reply was going to be played back to the net, and she was just ready and waiting. Oh, fantastic play from Shia. Really oh, wrong no. foot in Shang. She's, she's trying to guess which way she is hitting the shuttle at the moment. Great deception from her. Perfect. Service over. One of the few occasions that Love Zhang Ning four. has been able to get Xia on the back foot, punching the clear deep into her forehand side. Service over. Four. Love. Interesting, that's two consecutive Love rallies that four. Chang Ning has tried to play the punch clear down into Shear's deep forehand corner. 
and twice she's enjoyed success with it. Yes, yes, she's just getting, she had just to take it that little bit later in her forehand corner, and as you say, she's, you know, she's had a little bit of success, but she's got to start putting it together. But that'll give Shang some confidence. Two, That's two four. really easy mistakes. One out the back, one in the net from Shear. Positive now is Three, Zhang four. Ning. Yeah, she played good spin in that shot, got the lift. Varied her attack then. Yeah. Yes, nicely done. And back on level terms. Yeah, she'd be pleased that under pressure she held it well. Five, four. Again, the deep attacking clear into the forehand corner of Shear. It's doing the trick at the moment. Service over. Four, five. Oh, well played. Really has got such a long reach. Uh, Shia Xing Feng stretches forward to the net to make the kill. Darren, I can't help but wonder about the psychology of Zhang Ning losing the final last week because, in fact, that was the first time she'd been beaten in a final since November 2002. And I suppose once that lucky spell is broken, perhaps you feel vulnerable and, and it's really affecting her for this match. Well, definitely at the moment, obviously, it's given Shear a lot of confidence. You know, sometimes it works two ways where you, you've lost in a final, you want to revenge that defeat as soon as you can. Seven, but um, at the moment, it's definitely Shear that, that looks the, the more confidence. You can see the frustration in Shang's face. Just too many unforced Eight, errors. It's on the line. Sheer Ching Feng can't believe the call. Five, eight. Now, because this line call was made the far side of the court from the umpire, very difficult for the umpire to overrule. Yeah. 
brilliant. Yeah, it didn't spoil her concentration. Got the point straight back. Perfectly executed, smash down the line. quite happening for Shang looking for the tape again falling back her side Out. service over five nine Great cross court smash. Six. Yeah, nine. forced herself to get behind. A little bit more explosive on that shot. That's what we're used to seeing her do. Oh, that's the best rally of the match so far. Yeah, long, long rally. Six, Very hard work nine. for both girls. Shang not giving this up yet. again sheer stretching out that racket arm to address the shuttle early oh brilliant net play Six. from Chang Ning yeah she done very Nine. well it was a good tight net shot from Shia Somehow she managed to cross court it equally as tight back. She Jin Feng actually started her international career really as a doubles player, won the world junior women's doubles playing with Six, Zhang Zhe Wen. Also a bronze medal in the mixed doubles in the World Junior event playing with Kai Yun. Service over. Nine, six.
this over. Six, nine. Well, you're right, Darren. I don't think Zhang Ning will give up this opportunity without a real fight. Going to turn 30 in May, and I just wonder whether this is perhaps her last All England. just losing her patience a little bit there. She's controlled the game so far. Missed it. Yes, and the body language telling the story, the frustration. Nine from the Seven. world number one. Things just not happening for her today. attacking play from Shia Shing Fong defended well when she needed Ten, to but as soon as she got seven. the opportunity to step forward it was decisive and now she stands on the verge of victory saved by Zhang Ning as she bends over double obviously very fatigued by that rally Seven, ten. well I've never seen that before from Zhang Ning and that perhaps an indication of the fact that she hasn't been as training perhaps as hard as she did in preparation for Athens This already the longest match that Xie Xing Feng has played throughout these championships. 36 minutes of action already. Prior to this final, her longest match was just 33 minutes Seven, in the ten. semi final against Mir Ordina, the Olympic silver medalist. mistake from Shea. She's getting close to the title but she's not there yet. Chip points. Oh. 
Oh my goodness. Just long of that back line. Service over. Eight, ten. Well, we said she wouldn't give up without a fight. Zhang Ning. Nine, now ten. just one point the deficit. from Xie Xing Feng. Service over. Yeah, pushed Ten, herself, got nine. there early. Lovely flick off the net cross court. So perhaps third time lucky. Played these match points excellence against her, held her composure when she's got the opening. She's took her chance, still hanging on in there. Going for the winner, I think perhaps a little too early Ten, on in the rally. Didn't nine. seem to be in position. But she Xing Feng won't worry about that. She now has her fourth championship point. the crowd her sixth straight tournament win absolutely extraordinary record this the final rally the smash straight down the line played to perfection and she is now the all England champion confirmation of the score the number three seed, Chi Xingfeng, has won the final 11-3, 11-9. Ladies and gentlemen, to make these presentations, we welcome Mr. Keiichiro Yanagi, Managing Director of Yonex Europe. And he's accompanied by John Briggs, Chairman of the Babington Association of England. Firstly, John Briggs will make the presentation of the commemorative medal to the umpire, Chris Taylor, 
and the service judge, Malcolm Bannum. The runner-up from China, Zhang Ning. Still, the All England crowd acknowledge this great player, but the crown has eluded her once more. The only major title she has never won is this All England Championship, and I just wonder whether we'll ever see her playing in Birmingham again. Second time she's had to settle for second best. Was runner up in 1998 to Ye Zhao Yin. Cheer Feng acknowledges the crowd. The 24 year old runner up here two years ago. This time has gone one better. And after her performance here and her run of six consecutive straight tournament wins, who would question whether in fact she is really the best player in the world? Her rank ranking only number three. But I think as far as the other players are concerned, she is the best player without any shadow of a doubt in women's singles in world badminton.